Um, this is part of the uh, insert around the fire. It was a very, very, very light pine, but I've uh, just textured it. I've got some soil uh, on the bank and a bit of water, and I just made it a little bit darker, stained it, and then varnished it. Uh, it's all right. You're not going to find oak at the moment. I can't find any oak. So hard. Went to Wicks B and Q. By the time you finish in the line at B and Q and Wicks, you just you just want to go home. Just give up. So uh, I stained it instead. So there we are. One edge trimming bit. Also uh, touched, painted this again. I've painted there the section where it's hard to get to behind the chimney. So I've repainted that. It was a bit messy before. Don't worry about that. I've got the covered over and um, varnished that and stuff. Sealed that, that was cracked there, so I've sealed it up. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, getting there. I've just um, glued all this on there now, and I've just, I'm just putting the support just to hold it, hold it on there till it dries. And that, uh, that side section, which I stained with soil and stuff, it looks all right, doesn't it? So I'm just making up um, a piece for there to go with that, because uh, there's a bit of a gap. <laughs> A bit of a gap there lot so i'm going to put some tile underneath there uh to raise it up a bit a little bit put a little square bit of tile just to raise it up and then uh put this side bit on and we're getting there aren't we thumbs up this is the um the old cement from the fire chimney so i'm just going to get all this off let's uh do it shall we well, let's do it quick time scraping this um, old ceiling off the roof here I've already treated this uh, roof rust with crust which I get from Halford just like a tenner for a bottle uh, before I put the chimney back in I'm going to treat all the rust and scrape it all down and clean it off and stuff um, looking good so far being a lad sorry about the uh, view there uh, He's, I think if you don't like it, you should turn the other cheek, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah, they're heavy old things, these fires. Right, um, I'm going to pull me back trying to get it out. Yeah, uh, yeah at last it's uh, going back in, which is nice. Then you know that the job's almost coming to an end. Yeah, difficult bit. It's trying to get lifted on both of us in a confined space the base is quite flexible so the back of the fire wanted to flex every time they lifted it in the back flexed and also I pushed the glass in with my knee which is a bit annoying come on get in there to you to me no to me to you no oh, to me then well, just get in there come on Oh, so annoying. Just trying to sort out the glass there that I'd pushed in with my knee. And I ended up sealing it in there in the end and clipping it. Glass has come out a bit, it looks alright, doesn't it? I thought while the glass is out, I might just give it a clean. Just scrubbed it in the sink with an old, uh, old sponge I had lying around. This is the uh, brass ring 
that goes around the uh, top of the fire on the ceiling. Uh, it's just a finishing ring, really. Looks, looks good. Well, makes it look nice. You know? I'm just using 600 grit sandpaper. I'll take off the old varnish that was on there. Um, see there, look, it, uh, it's taking it down a little bit, which is good, getting rid of that varnish. these six mil bolts on the roof just to just to hold it in because before it had nothing so I'm just drilling some holes and uh, tapping it and sticking that to uh, those bolts in just for extra security when I seal it on the roof as you can see here I've tapped it out I'm not sure they're tapping it's boring uh, I've also put some like, rust inhibitor. This is the second coat that I've put on this. Uh, just showing you that the holes are tapped. Wonderful. After the spray had dried, I uh, decided I'd put it back in before it started raining. It's bloody heavy. It's the uh, this the pipe and the. The roof cap combined are very heavy, so I'm just trying to get it, feed it in here, my lads. Uh, hopefully, got to give me a hand in a minute. Come on, where are you? 
I've already put some Sikaflex sealer on the roof already. Now I'm just going to put some extra, uh, an extra coating of Sikaflex on the outside now, just to just an extra sealing for it. When I first took this roof cap off, there wasn't any bolts bolting it down whatsoever, just just sealer. So those uh, bolts in there will uh, be more than sufficient to hold this uh, chimney on. Those bolts there, look. Uh, they are tight, believe it or not, but it's tapered. That square hole is tapered, so they're in tight, really tight. And uh, eventually I'll seal those up with some sealer. good I think that'll do the job I've just got to touch up the paint and uh, just seal those screws like I just said it is a very very dirty and messy job your hands are covered in black soot paint sealer the whole lot fingernails stay black let's see how lot you see Ooh, annoying this is the cement I'm using for the uh, seal it all in. I've, I've dug most of it out so I can put some fresh cement in there. And this cement will only go off when you've put made a fire. It'll go rock hard. As in the name cement. When it goes, well it's fire resistant, it's heat resistant cement, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to top that off there. I fell out of my uh, usual latex glove so I don't mind. It is what it is. As long as the job's done. I don't mind getting dirty. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. I've just got to seal these uh, these bolts in here. Look, a little bit of Sikaflex in there. Um, to sort those out. Still no more leaks from there. Look, keep the rain out. So on and so forth. smarter and tidier. Sprayed black. It'll, it won't last long, you know, once you get to start using the fire again it'll look a bit messy. I've just got to touch up the paint on the roof and redo all that and give it a clean out. Just got to press as hard as I can into those uh, gap there, this fire cement, and then that will go off once you've started the fire. Um, so hopefully it'll be nice and neat. Very nice. There you are, thumbs up, look, lovely. And this is the uh, final result with the wood in and the, it's been painted and sealed and the brass has been polished. Um, after a long road, it's almost finished. Just got to finish the carpet strips and reroute the wiring around that carpet there. So I hope you enjoyed it.